So the Gita starts with Dharma Kshetra Kurukshetra. Yes. And what you're suggesting to me is that there is a possibility for it just to be Dharma Kshetra Dharma Kshetra. That the Gurus can be talked out of being Gurus and made into Dharmic beings. Um, I'm struggling with that concept. That, uh, that an equal sharing, open hearted and um, without constraint and without prejudgment is a, a good way forward in Kalyug. It, if, if I take it to a national scale, India used to have a massive land mass, it had a vast economy, um, and we had this desire to openly share without judgment. Um, and at uh, this moment in time, we're coming hopefully to the conclusion of a period of a great deal of suffering for Bharat, for the people of that nation. Um, and yet what you're suggesting is that we should continue in that same vein of being open and non-judgmental and just sharing. Um, I'm is not that, saying is that we relevant should continue, to I'm just sharing that that's how we do it that's as a Brahma you, you okay. <laughs> And right. it's been uh, since 1937 and I think the model worked well. Okay, wonderful. Can I it's turn everything is an experiment, isn't it? You experiment and you experience. If the result works out well for you, it's working. So mm. it's just that the model worked out well. Okay, well, that's wonderful. So um, we don't need Adhikar. Um, and it, Dharma Kshetra, Dharma Kshetra is entirely possible, Dharma which is a, a very positive um, aspiration. When we say Dharma Kshetra, so oh. when we understand the word Dharma, mm -hmm. so Dharma is religion, religion of the soul. What is the religion of the soul? Like this water. What's the Dharma of water? The Dharma of water is to nurture people. That's the Dharma, it's mm -hmm. the duty, it's the quality of water. So what's the dharma of every soul? The dharma of every soul is to radiate peace, compassion, respect to everyone, irrespective of who they are and what they've done to me. This is my dharma. Today what is happening is we behave differently with different people depending on how they have behaved with us. Today our mind, our thoughts, feelings and emotions get affected by situations and people. So we shift from our dharma when we come to karma. So what we've done is we dedicate, uh, let's say 20 minutes, 30 minutes, an hour every day to dharma. And then the rest of the day is our karma. So when we are in that 30 or 60 minutes, we're talking about peace, compassion, forgiveness. When we are coming to our 23 hours of karma, we are saying stress is normal, anger is normal, fear is normal, competition is normal. Because we kept dharma and karma separately. To create satyuga again, all that we have to do is make our every karma based on our dharma. Which means use our religion, religion of the soul in our every thought, word, behavior, whether I am a student, whether I am a housewife, whether I am a professional, whether I am a business person, let me use my dharma in my every karma. So dharma and karma have to go together. Satyuk Treta mm -hmm. Yuga means dharma and karma were together. Dwapar Yuga, dharma and karma separated. If you see the pictures of the deities, you will see two crowns. One is the ruling crown and behind that is the white light, that is the crown of purity. The same soul, the same individual has the ruling crown and the crown of purity, dharma and karma together. Come to Dwapar Yuga, the ruler will have the ruling crown and the crown of purity will be on the prophets. So dharma and karma separated. The ruling was by one person, the religion was managed by another person. Dharma and karma got separated. When we come to Kalyuk, karma also lost its power and now dharma okay. is also losing its power. So when dharma and karma both start losing power, then the world starts shaking up. And all that we need now is to get dharma aligned back with every karma. We can't do Dan punya in the morning for one hour and then when we come to work we are shouting at somebody we are cheating someone we are exploiting someone and then we are saying oh this is business this is business 
तो बिजनेस में तो ये चलता है थोड़ा बहुत करना पड़ता है दिस इज बिजनेस इट्स नॉर्मल नो देन इट्स कल यूट सो वट एवर आई लर्न इन द मॉर्निंग इन माई अंडरस्टैंडिंग ऑफ धर्म आई नीड टू ट्रांसलेट इट इन टू माई कर्म सो कुरुक्षेत्र इज नॉट आउटसाइड कुरुक्षेत्र इज जस्ट हियर इन साइड माई इनर वर्ल्ड ऑफ माई अटैचमेंट टू माई ओन ओल्ड वेज ऑफ थिंकिंग सो आई नीड टू फाइट माई ओन ओल्ड वेज ऑफ थिंकिंग चैलेंज माई ओन ओल्ड बिलीफ सिस्टम्स विच सेट दिस वे ऑफ लिविंग इज नॉर्मल एंड देन विन ओवर दैट विद द पावर ऑफ वन सो कुरुक्षेत्र हैड हंड्रेड ऑन वन साइड एंड फाइव ऑन द अदर साइड द हंड्रेड हैड एवरीथिंग वेल्थ रिसोर्सिस आर्मी and the five only had god and when duryodhan was given a choice do you want the army or do you want god duryodhan chose the army because he thought of what use is god he is not allowed to fight the war so what's he going to do in the war so he didn't choose god he chose the army same for us today we need to see what we are choosing throughout the day we are rather choosing to just only work achieve earn and if somebody says just take out 30 minutes meditate in the morning we say we don't have time of what use is the meditation so now we only need to decide are we going to stand on the side of the 100 which is making kalyug stronger or we're going to stand on the side of five connected to god and win over our own biases the fight is not with an individual god okay. would never teach us to go to war with relatives but god is teaching us to go to war with our own old belief systems and negativities and win over that to create satyog please remember to subscribe to us and switch on the notifications for this channel For our other social media links, more content, and to support our work, please visit citti.net. Thank you. Namaskar.